Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to your channel. Today, we're going to be doing some uh, stew fish. Now, we got garlic, onion, bell pepper. And we're going to stir fry those. And here, where you see our fish. We're going to be using bass fish with no bones. going to be using coconut oil right now. I don't know. I, I use this to cook. I don't know. If anything, just correct me. So, now we're going to move on. Heat up the pan. Go some coconut oil on there wait for it to melt and we're going to proceed on adding our veggies which are our purple onions green and red bell peppers and the garlic so they can release their scents and their taste oil then this one, you see right now you just get in there pop in and enjoy it it means this is releasing to the good smell right now stir that up and let the garlic burn so have in mind coconut oil heat up fast so just have that in mind like blow your fire or your heat temperature now we're going to proceed on adding our fish have in mind if you don't have fish you can use an entire fish with bones it don't matter this recipe will work with chicken breast or shrimp i believe so so now we're going to stir fry our fish with our vegetables we season our fish with some adobo, oregano, uh, pepper, and a few other spices. So we're going to stir that up. Make sure it starts cooking up. So now here in this step, we're going to proceed on adding our coconut milk. This is going to add our personal taste difference in it. Now, if you don't have coconut milk, don't worry. You can go ahead and use any evaporated milk. Go ahead and add as you need, depending on the amount of, of protein that you're cooking. So, we add our coconut milk, stir that up. After that, we're going to be adding some uh, chiote, spice up the color, take that pink orange flavor to your ribs. When I add it, add it like one small envelope of a chiote. Get that you should mark it to come up in different envelopes at like one time. You could also add those that you need have in mind. This is seasoned already. So you could overpower your food with salt while you're adding all these seasonings. So now we're gonna go ahead, cover it up, let it simmer. Let the magic happen, cook it up, steam up. Now we're gonna go back again, lift the lid up, mix that up. It's cooking pretty good, smelling delicious too. So now I have some leftover three cheese blends. So if you have Parmesan cheese or anything, have in mind once again, don't overpower it with the cheese. Remember, cheese, they usually have salt if you're not using like a salt-free cheese. So that's going to add more salt to your recipe. So have that in mind. So just mix that up. So here, this is basically the last step. Cover it up, prep it, serve. Here's how it looks. Some rice and beans and the stew fish. Hope you enjoy because I pretty much did. And thanks for watching. Give a like, comment. And if you want to watch more videos of me cooking, they pretty sure up. Going to keep on coming. So... If you like this content, just subscribe. Go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment. And if you want to see something...